everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome to the new episode of Test Analyst ISTQB Advanced Level Certification. First of all, I would like to thank all my viewers and uh, the happy learners. There are 2000 people who have subscribed to the channel and they are showing extreme updates about their queries and the examination pass rates and all. That really gives me a lot of inspiration to keep doing good work for you people. Also, we are looking forward to have suggestions on if you would like to have any activities uh, like, you know, a qu query session or maybe anything specific about some doubt clarifications, then you can let me know maybe over the weekend. We can plan for some hours about such events and uh, we can be live together to understand if you have any queries and sort out your issues. In case you are appearing for the examination, I can also talk about the same thing and help you, you know, clarify your doubts live with me. So you can comment below the suggestions and any kind of you know inputs about those kind of activities, which I'll be happy to do it for you. So thank you once again to all the 2000 subscribers and the happy learners. And at the end, of course, have very all the best for the upcoming examination. In this particular series, we'll be talking about the advanced level. We are done with Foundation, Agile. If you have not seen the series, you can have a look there and then come back to this because this is advanced and you have a prerequisite for that. So in Test Analyst, let me just give you a quick overview about what the certification will be all about and what you'll be looking forward to. Before that, of course, uh, that's my introduction. I'll be, uh, you know, taking care of your uh, learnings about advanced level certification. And I have a very wide experience of training across the globe. I've uh, been like working as a freelancer on these kind of things, like training across uh, different organizations and delivering sessions on ISTQB. I'm also certified advanced level uh, tester. At the same time, I do a lot of consulting for different organizations uh, on contract. So should you have any other information required, you are always free to comment below to ask more about me. When you talk about test analyst, this is an advanced level certification. And this uh, is going to add, of course, a lot of value to your profile. Let's know more, something more about it. When you talk about advanced level, I don't have to talk about ISTQB because you have been already through the foundation. Then you come here to understand the advanced level. So there's nothing specific to be spoken about ISTQB. But when it comes to certifications, this is the second level of certification, what you would be looking at. This is basically for the people who are experienced with certain timeline, maybe like, you know, down the line, five years to 10 years of span, you can look forward to get certified with advanced level. Now, what basically advanced level certifications are? If you look at this screen right now, we have got a lot of certifications, as you can see, and many more are in beta version, which will be coming up. But we are targeting about this particular area, which is advanced level. And for this, uh, you have to be through foundation level. And uh, once the foundation level is done, you can look forward for any of these uh, categories, like towards agile, towards core, or specialist as well where you have advanced level as the core part of it. And we have three certification in this, and we are talking about test analyst, where test analyst is generally for the people who do functional testing in the organization. And the technical test analyst is for the non-functional testers and test manager is of course, the manager of the testing organization within a particular company. So in this tutorial, we are talking about uh, test analyst, so this certification is what we'll be going through the tutorials of. The local body conducting examination, you already know, if you are in a specific country, you will be having a local board, which will be governed by ISTQB, and you can approach that board to appear for this examination. Who can appear? Anyone who has a good experience about the foundations, understanding of the basic concepts of testing, at the same time knows the advanced level understanding of the content. At the same time, you will also be looking at different aspect, like from a manager point of view, making decisions and taking responsibilities of uh, implementing things, determining things and planning out the activities would be the more responsible things to understand. What's the cost of this? The cost remains same and throughout uh, the certification. As per the Indian currency, it is going to be uh, 4,800 some change, which is equivalent for anything like, you know, the foundation advance or any other certification the cost remains the same. Validity, it's lifetime. 
it is good news for you that even advanced levels are now lifetime valid so you don't really have to reappear even if the syllabus changes when it comes to the next thing is understanding about the uh, more about the examination the prerequisite of course you need to be certified with foundation level that's a criteria if you are not certified with foundation please get certified with foundation first and then look for the test analyst there's no specific timeline provided between uh, the the gap to be uh, kept between foundation and test analyst but still i would recommend uh, six months would be sound enough because you would need enough time to prepare well for this examination the exam type will be objective that means we do not have subjective here as well uh, each question will have multiple choices and you need to pick one two or three of them and that's the criticality what we add to advanced level there sometimes the questions will be or not sometimes mainly the questions will be having five or six options and you need to be you know picking up two or three of them which will be specified in the exam the number of questions will be 60 and the duration provided to you to answer these 60 questions will be 180 180 minutes which means three hours of time don't be happy about that the questions will not be straightforward the most of the questions almost like you know 70 to 75 percent of questions will be a scenario based so i think you know somewhere around 40 questions will be scenario based where a scenario will be provided to you a real-time scenario and based on the scenario you need to pick the right answer so it's going to be a little different than the foundation but not difficult if you're watching the tutorials schedule yes you can schedule it anytime going online or offline examinations you can just go to istqb.in or your respective countries uh, portal to see your schedule availability and book your slot location and venue will be decided by the portal itself they will tell you where and how you can take the examination the passing score remains the same that is 65 percent which is throughout all the examination under istqb so you need to get 65 percent or more in 60 questions that is to pass the exam Following that, we'll be having seven chapters to undergo here. The tutorials are going to be pretty long because we have a lot of content to be covered here. And of course, at the advanced level, so the justification and uh, elaboration of each and every topic would consume a lot of time. So all you need to have is patience when you listen to all the tutorials coming after this. So we have few chapters to understand from here is chapter one testing process. But here, you know already from foundation, a lot of things that will help you a lot to follow this easily but here we will not be talking about the activities precisely rather we'll be talking about a responsibility of the test analyst during these test process activities the chapter 2 similarly will talk about the test management and again the responsibility of the test analyst of the entire test management we'll be having an extension to the test techniques so the new techniques will be added to the existing what you had in foundation level certification plus the foundation level techniques will be further expanded to an advanced level so we have many new things to come up and understand before you appear for this examination at the same time software testing qualific uh, software testing quality characteristics will also be a part of it there are certain non functional parameters which we would be targeting on being a test analyst then of course chapter 5 will be talking about reviews then chapter 6 about defect management and the test tools which can be helpful for the test analysts to implement so we'll be looking again with the same pattern same type of approach towards the tutorials so stay tuned for upcoming tutorials at last of course uh, the k4 will be introduced here after k1 k2 and k3 that means some cases or most of the cases i can say you will be asked to analyze the scenario and apply your understanding so Generally, K4 means that a real-time situation will be provided to you and all the options would be correct. Okay, I meant it. I meant it. I meant it that all the options will be correct. But it is just that at that point of time, as per the scenario, what would be the right step to be taken? So it's going to be a little tricky when you talk about K4, which means that analyze the situation and tell me, being a test analyst, what is that you will do and of course there will be a right answer so you need to be very clever while looking into the scenarios and don't worry about that i'm going to help you i'm here to assist you so i'll be taking care of those things and you're always free to uh, 
look forward for any kind of doubts, clarifications with me. So team, thank you all for watching this video. We'll be getting started with the tutorial as early as possible, probably by the next alternate day. And we'll be getting started with the very first tutorial of the test analyst advanced level certification. Should you have anything, you have any suggestions, any kind of inputs to enhance this tutorial or the session or interaction with me, you are free to comment below. Thanks for watching the video team. Keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding. Till then, take care and happy learning.